Hi, my name is Mike Lennon, and I wanted to demonstrate my lawn sprinkler system uh, to you today. Uh, this lawn sprinkler is built on top of a Netduino Plus, which is running a .NET micro framework. Uh, it is also connected to the Azure service bus, which, uh, which allows me to control the sprinkler through a, a Windows Phone 7 device. Uh, let me point out a couple hardware aspects here. First of all, you can see the Netduino Plus right here. Uh, it's basically connected to a router through this gray Ethernet cable. Uh, and also I have a relay board here, which has four relays on it, so it can control uh, four zones. Also, you'll notice on the router down here, I have uh, a yellow Ethernet cable, which is connected to this laptop over here which will be connecting to the Azure service bus to give me remote control uh, of, the, of the sprinkler system. And then the blue network cable is basically what connects to the, the internet. Uh, let me move the camera a little bit. Let me point out right here, the UI is a very simple UI. Just one push button and two LEDs. But let me move the camera up a little bit so you can see the lights for the zones. I basically have, you basically can't see the, the router now, but you don't really need to see that for this demonstration. Up here on the top I have zone 1, 2, 3, and 4 just to simulate the uh, sprinkler solenoids. Uh, let me kind of show you how the UI manually works. Uh, basically I press the push button once and you notice that the red LED came on. That indicates that we're in the manual mode and zone one turned on. Basically in the manual mode it just allows me to override any schedule so I can turn on the zones manually for five minutes each. That can be changed programmatically too to any other length of time and, and you can do multiple cycles of the zones as well. If I press the push button again uh, the green LED comes on and that indicates that we're in the schedule mode. So basically the lawn sprinkler is just waiting for a certain day uh, if it's in the daily mode or it might be in set for Monday, Wednesday, Friday to come on and a certain time before it turns the zones on. So right now what I'll uh, simulate is that this sprinkler also is smart enough to know that the weather conditions um, are, in, are in such a way that it's scheduled to, to rain. Uh, if it's over 39% chance of rain for the day, then the sprinkler system, if it's scheduled to turn on, it will not turn on. Um, let me simulate that. Uh, basically, down here on the laptop on the left, I've got a little DOS window that basically allows me to, to manually set the percentage of rain, so I'm going to set it to 40%, and you'll notice that the green LED now starts to flash. That indicates that we're scheduled to uh, sprinkle today, but since there's rain in the forecast, uh, it won't sprinkle at all. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out also is up here in this other DOS prompt up here. That's basically uh, a, a Windows service that basically is what I call the home connector and it basically establishes a connection to the Azure service bus so that I can um, remotely control the, uh, the sprinkler. Let me bring up my phone here in view and kind of sh demonstrate that. So if I hit refresh here, you can kind of see that once the screen refreshes, that basically the zones are all turned off. This is the current status of the lawn sprinkler. Uh, we're at a rain of 40% 40, 40 we're set to uh, schedule a, of a type a daily so it would sprinkle every day. Um, it has also a current date and time. Let me go ahead and show you how I can uh, manually override the sprinkler and turn it turn it on. I basically change the mode to manual, save that, and now you'll see the 
sprinkler get into the manual mode because the red LED came on and zone one turned on. Um, just to, to show you that I'm not directly connected to the Netduino over Wi-Fi or anything. I'll just show you up here. You notice that my Wi-Fi um, is not turned on. I'm going over 3G so I'm communicating uh, over my wireless plan, my uh, data plan through my provider, and my Wi-Fi is, is turned off. So I'm literally going to the internet, talking to the service bus, um, and then basically communicating down through the home connector and to the Netduino to turn it on and off. So let me demonstrate one more time. I'll shut the, I'll turn the Netduino back to schedule mode and it turned off and now the Arduino is in schedule mode. Alright, that concludes my demonstration. I hope you enjoyed this.